Until now, your historical novels have always been based on the other side of uh, the, the Atlantic, in Ireland, in, in London. Now you're drawn to this side. Why choose New York? Well, uh, I actually first thought of this uh, book when uh, I'd been living in New York City then for about 10 years, 1991. Um, and I was fascinated with, with the place, as, as one naturally would be, and it's such a... Uh, there is such a story there when you think of uh, the crowded history of that place from uh, from Indian hunting ground through the Dutch settlements and all the rest of it right the way through to well now to 9-11 to, to which is the last climax of the book I took a, a, a central family uh, Anglo-Dutch if mm -hmm. you will and then grafted on other families all the way through as you, the immigrant uh, as the immigrants I mean you, you you can't get everybody into the story no, even in 860 not, not pages not but I want to start start at the start because yeah. in the original colony of uh, New Amsterdam I mean most see that as kind of a histor curious historical footnote an aberrant uh, part of the history but in in your depiction this mm. is central to the development of the entire character and and history of New York. I think that that's right. Um, it, it's sad that there aren't more of those lovely step gable Dutch buildings. You can still find uh, some still around in Manhattan, um, partly reconstituted. But yeah, uh, like other ports in other places, New York of course has this uh, fantastic harbor. And the fact of the port uh, the fact that those Dutch merchants were in this small outpost settlement, uh, in this vast, as it then was, wilderness, um, you still get a sense of that, even now, looking up the Hudson. Um, that makes people very hardy, tough, and individualistic. So we always associate New York as a polygot of yes. cultures and religions yes. and a certain tolerance of mm. that kind of diversity. This, too, Start begins with the Dutch. It, 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 it does. The, the Dutch weren't always quite as tolerant as they're made out to be, <laughs> if truth be told. Um, it is said, for instance, we have a slave story for early, early, early yes. book, that, that the Dutch treated their slaves better. Well, it depended. Um, uh, the, you know, New York was always a slave port. Which I think many people would be surprised. We associate with the South and that's plantation right. economies. That's but right. very early on, there were slaves. Um, uh, and uh, Dutch farmers would work side by side with their slaves in the fields and treat them more like one of the family. But still, when push came to shove, um, they could be just as tough as but the English. But there were free blacks them. in New York at this there period were. of time. Too. There were. That's, that's absolutely right. I, I tell the story, as, as you know, of, of, of a slave who uh, has or has not his freedom um, uh, through the, the late 17th century. But there was a little up by what was then called the Collect Pond, a little past Canal Street mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in modern New York. Um, there was a, a, a settlement of freed men, freed slaves, um, and there was always this business of, oh, do they want to become Christians in order to be free, which used to uh, be quite a sore subject with, you know, the, um, the Dutch uh, pastors, ministers, and so forth.